Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very interesting question from factorial equations. It is 10 raised to the power 1 factorial over 2x plus 1 factorial equal to 100 raised to power 3 factorial over 2x plus 4 factorial over 10 raised to the power 2 factorial over 2x plus 3 factorial. x belongs to real number and for every n factorial, n is whole number or non-negative integer. So let's get it started by considering cross multiplication first. So I will be writing our equation 10 raised to the power 1 factorial over 2x plus 1 factorial times 10 raised to the power 2 factorial over 2x plus 3 factorial equal to 100 raised to the power 3 factorial divided by 2x plus 4 factorial. Exponential cannot be 0, so denominator is no constraint. Now I will write one exponential property a power b times a power c. Any time we can add their parts b plus c in the exponent. So I will be writing LHS as 10 raised to the power 1 factorial is now 1, 2 factorial will be 2 and 3 factorial I will write 6. So it will become 1 over 2x plus 1 factorial plus 2 over 2x plus 3 factorial equal to 100 power will be 6 over 2x plus 4 factorials. Now from RHS, 100 can be written as 10 power 2 whole power 6 divided by 2x plus 4 factorial. Now I will use one exponential property. It is a power b whole power c can be written as a power b times c. So I will take product of these two powers. So it will become in the RHS 10 raised to the power 12 over 2x plus 4 factorial in the denominator. So let's rewrite 10 raised to the power 1 over 2x plus 1 factorial plus 2 over 2x plus 3 factorial equal to 10 power. Now it will be 2 times 6, so 12 divided by 2x plus 4 factorials. Now both sides our bases are same, so we will equate our exponents. So let us write this should be equal to this. So I will write 1 over 2x plus 1 factorial plus 2 over 2x plus 3 factorial equal to 12 divided by 2x plus 4 factorial. Now I will use substitution and our substitution will be 2x plus 1 equal to a. Now 2x plus 1 equal to a. So condition on a we can apply. It should be greater than 0 and it is integer. Now I will write what will be 2x plus 3. This will be a plus 2. What will be 2x plus 4? It will be a plus 3. So I can write our equation as 1 over a factorial plus 2 over a plus 2 factorial equal to 12 over a plus 3 factorial. Now I will write recursive formula in factorial notation. 
so n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on and so on. So let us rewrite our equation using recursive formula. So I will write 1 over a factorial, let me write equation once, plus 2 over a plus 2 factorial equal to 12 over a plus 3 factorial. Now I will write using recursive formula 1 over a factorial plus 2 over a plus 2 times a plus 1 times a factorial. In RHS, I will write 12 divided by a plus 3, a plus 2, a plus 1 and then a factorial. Now we know that if a is equal to 0, 0 factorial is also non-zero value. So we can multiply both sides by a factorial. Let's multiply a factorial and this side also a factorial. Now I can cancel a factorial from the denominator. So it is left with 1 plus 2 over a plus 1 times a plus 2 equal to 12 over a plus 1 times a plus 2 times a plus 3. Now, let us assume a plus 2 equal to t. Now, condition on a was a should be greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. So, condition on t would be t should be greater than or equal to 2. Now let us write what will be a plus 1 after that. So a plus 1 will be t minus 1 and a plus 3 will be t plus 1. So our equation will be in t now. Let us rewrite our equation in t with these substitutions. So I will write 1 plus 2 over t minus 1 times t equal to 12 divided by the product of t minus 1 with t with t plus 1. Now we have to simplify or solve this equation for t. Condition on t is t should be greater than or equal to. Now I will write our equation 12 over t minus 1 times t times t plus 1 minus 2 over t times t minus 1 equal to 1. Now in denominator t t minus 1 is common, in numerator 2 is common. So let us take 2 over t times t minus 1 common. So in bracket I will be writing 6 over t plus 1 minus 1, RHS 1. Now I will take LCM here, 6 minus t minus 1 over t plus 1, t plus 1. So this will become 5 minus t over t plus 1, only this bracket. And first term or this I will write t times t minus 1. 2 over t times t minus 1 and RHS is 1. Now if you will see denominator is having t times t minus 1 times t plus 1. So I can use difference of 2 squares. Let us write 2 times 5 minus t divided by t times t minus 1 times t plus 1 and RHS is 1. 
Now here I can use t square minus 1, the difference of two squares. So 2 times 5 minus t divided by t times t square minus 1. RHS is 1. Condition on t was t should be greater than or equal to 2. Now denominator, obviously t cannot be 0, t cannot be plus minus 1. Cross multiply it. So I will write 2 times 5 minus t equal to t times t square minus 1. Let's multiply. So 10 minus 2t equal to t cube minus t. Take all the term to RHS. t cube. Then I will be writing 2t minus t. So it will be t and minus 10 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this cubic equation. Let's solve using factorization method. t cube plus t minus 10. Can we write minus 8 minus 2 equal to 0? Now I will be writing t cube minus 8 as 2 cube. Then what we left? It is t minus 2. Now here I will apply a cube minus b cube formula. So a minus b, in other bracket, a square plus ab plus b square. And here I will have t minus 2 as it is equal to 0. Now t minus 2 is overall common. In this bracket, we will be having t square plus 2t plus 4 and plus 1 equal to 0. Conclusion will be t minus 2 times t square plus 2t plus 5. Now from here I can write t minus 2 will be 0. First equation and second equation will be t square plus 2t plus 5 equal to 0. Now from first equation this one, I can conclude t is equal to 2, which is true. Because condition on t was greater than or equal to 2. Now let us consider this quadratic equation. I will only check discriminant b square minus 4ac value. b square is 2 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 5. So it is 4 minus 20, which is negative 16. Because of discriminant negative, complex solutions will generate. So I will reject this. So this equation will be rejected. Now which solution we will accept? It is t equal to 2. We write here t equal to 2. Now t was, remember, it was a plus 2 equal to 2. So I can write a equal to 0. Now a was substitution 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Take away 1 from both sides. So 2x is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. So x will come out negative half. Now we will be cross verify our result. Let's verify. Verification. Left hand side it would be. I will write both the sides. First LHS 10 raised to the power 1 factorial is 1 divided by 2x. If x is minus half, then 2x is minus 1. Straight away we will apply 2x minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1. So 0 factorial equal to 100 power 3 factorial is 6 divided by 2x is minus 1 plus 4. So 3 factorial. 3 factorial is again, let me write once, divided by 10 
2 factorial is 2 divided by 3 minus 1, so 2 factorial. Now 0 factorial we know it is 1, so 10 power 1 over 1 equal to 100 power 6 over 6, 3 factorial is 6, divided by 10, 2, 2 factorial is 2. Now these two will get over here also 1. So I can write 100 power 1, it is 100. 10 power 1, it is 10. Left hand side, it is 10. Right hand side, 100 over 10, it is 10. That means true. This solution is verified. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.